Hey guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Idea Dream Home Season 3. We've got yet another fantastic contestant on the show, 50 to be specific. And out of the 50 today, we've got a house by the name East End Villa. In our journey to find this beautiful home, Kerala's most beautiful home, we've got our experts in the field of architecture joining us once again. I'd like to firstly invite Padma Ji Shankar, an architect with over 30 years of experience and who's uh, more known for his eco-friendly houses and cost-effective uh, forms of construction. Welcome to the show. Uh, joining him is architect Shaina Rajesh. She's got her own firm, Building Concepts. She's passed out from the TKM College of Engineering close to 15 years ago, so tons of experience with China. Welcome. And finally, completing our panel is architect Ruben Koshi, who uh, did his uh, course at the College of Engineering Trivandrum, 1994 batch, if I'm right. <laughs> yes, and he's got his own firm, Studio 5 in Trivandrum as well. So a lot of experience between our judges, but a really tough job at hand. Almost more difficult than making a design, I'm guessing. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get started. Our first house, uh, rather our only house for today, is the East End Villa. Time to take a look at our visuals. Hey guys and welcome to a brand new episode of Idea Dream Home Season 3. We've got yet another fantastic contestant on the show, 50 to be specific. And out of the 50 today, we've got a house by the name East End Villa. In our journey to find this beautiful home, Kerala's most beautiful home, we've got our experts in the field of architecture joining us once again. I'd like to firstly invite Padma Ji Shankar, an architect with over 30 years of experience and who's uh, more known for his eco-friendly houses and cost-effective uh, forms of construction. Welcome to the show. Uh, joining him is architect Shaina Rajesh. She's got her own firm, Building Concepts. She's passed out from the TKM College of Engineering close to 15 years ago, so tons of experience with China. Welcome. And finally, completing our panel is architect Ruben Koshi, who uh, did his uh, course at the College of Engineering Trivandrum, 1994 batch, if I'm right. <laughs> yes, and he's got his own firm, Studio 5 in Trivandrum as well. So a lot of experience between our judges, but a really tough job at hand. Almost more difficult than making a design, I'm guessing. I don't know. <laughs> Let's get started. Our first house, uh, rather our only house for today, is the East End Villa. Time to take a look at our visuals.
today was East End Villa. We've already taken a look at the visuals. The judges have seen it as well. Any namka, our opinions show the camp. Shaina, first off, exteriors. I guess it's at the extreme east end of that lane because it's called East End Villa <laughs> yeah. and it's a dead end, as we can see from the visuals. Uh, so, you know, like as architects, we know how difficult it is to design on a plot which is L-shaped. It's at a dead end because you get visuals from two sides. Hmm. So you have to be very careful in designing such a property, in, uh, a house in such a property. And the architect has really done a good job with this, with this particular house. The color combinations, uh, the use of pergolas, the use of, you know, the, um, the handrails, the combination of the boxed uh, windows plus it uh, continues as a sunshade. I mean, all those elements have been interlinked very effectively so that nothing projects out and co it's completely in sync with each element is in sync with the other. And I like the car porch. I mean, very simple down to earth structure. Um, uh, so one or two things I didn't like about it was, I mean, they had ample space in front of the yes. I mean, uh, porch. They haven't landscaped it. I think only the gravel. Uh, mm -hmm. But naturally, thankfully, they didn't pave it, yeah. so that's good. I like the compound wall uh, where they have given solid wall and then some intermixed wind. with yeah, granite sla uh, uh, slabs. So the gate was very simple. Uh, the whole color combination was kept at the exterior and interior level because even in the exterior level, the uh, co I mean the gravel, the combination of the compound wall, the building had the gray and of white, white texture. Yeah. Okay, Shankarji. Yang asing ni kan, wasilipatinnya the white never goes out of style and nama le unduh gula ini kereta tindak mesti orang pikir no. Ini ke istop pedat, orang kaya ni jalan ini massing, resam aja tuan, walaupun resam aja tuan. Biasa ini de, nama le asymmetrical balance tuan orang. Nama le kereta tindak ni ada satu side, satu side heavy aja tuan. Kita tuan ini kereta tindak satu side, beli kereta mati side orang kira sabdi udah. Oh, ini jadi berita ke kaji ke indo raba aja tuan. Ada symmetrical balance ni ada lah. Biasa ni ada. Korcher masing ni kerja itu nak asymmetrical balance sama orang ni. Orang dia ni ni kalau korcher dia kerja itu nak panggil awam ni. Biasa ni kalau ada ni kerja itu seperti itu. Okay, and Ruben? Yeah, me too. I mean, looking at the plot, actually, even though you see the whole front, it's only you realize that because you have a dead end which forms a background for the plot. Correct. Otherwise, it would have been so much more hidden. So, given the constraints of designing in an L-shaped plot. Uh, I am quite happy with the elevation. I'm very happy with the compound wall, the detail of the compound wall with those granite posts in between your regular walls. And even the elevation is, uh, like Shankarji was saying, maybe because of the context, but even otherwise, even though it is so simple, you don't want to look at anything else. You, you want to look at that a second time or a third time because it is so simple. The colors used are very mute colors, grays and whites. And massing, uh, at least there, it's very interesting. I mean, it could be side heavy as Shankarji said but at least it is very interesting to you know you want to look at it again you know so so I think it's very it's very refreshing in that context and uh, except for the little uh, landscape which is a little lacking in the front but I think I'm quite happy with the okay so all building. of them sound happy with the, the exteriors parameter of East End let's find out your scores Ruben 24 for the elevation and definitely starting off on a high note there so Shaina 24 again Keeping it up and Shankarji. 23. 23, which is still equally good. Well, definitely a great start for East End Villa from our judges. Um, now we need to step into the planning segment. Um, Shankarji. The architect in the Kayopella is in Kana. Planning in Doro, Katatinum, the architect involved it on the other delightful design and Ghana. Sahaja arsitek ni dijari cina orang mesti ni kuda dijari kan. Berdua berdua kuda mana itu sami cerita ni deh. Ia magic kan ni kalau ia planning ni deh. Ia magic kan ni kalau living, dining, informal living, staircase. Ini ni satu satu combination. Walau mana itu. Ini nanti ini ini full height ni lelai undi cerita ni kalau berteri lagi pun. Bagi linda level ni kalau kita cerita mask ini satu framing ni itu mati. Orang orang ni picture frame perfect ni orang ini ni ada. Nampaknya itu, aduh, aduh, cerita itu, aduh, planning ini, bijak mana ni kita tu. 
ഈ എനിക്ക് വളരെ ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ആയിട്ട് തന്നെ പ്ലാനിങ്ങിൻ്റെ ഒരു കാര്യം പൂജ റൂം നമ്മുടെ എല്ലാ വീടുകളിലും ഈ പ്രയർ സ്പേസൊക്കെ വളരെ ആക്സിജേറ്റ് ചെയ്യും കുറച്ചുകൂടെ എംഫസൈസ് ചെയ്യാനായിട്ട് വൃത്തിയായിട്ടായി കളയും ഇത് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നു പൂജാ സ്പേസ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞാൽ ചെറിയൊരു അലമാരിക്കകത്ത് അത് ഒതുക്കിയിട്ടുണ്ട് ഒരു ചെറിയ ഷെൽഫൊക്കെ വെച്ചിട്ട് അത് ഈ പ്ലാനിങ്ങിൻ്റെ ഒരു വിജയമായിട്ടാണ് എനിക്ക് തോന്നുന്നത് എനിക്ക് ഇഷ്ടപ്പെടാത്ത ഒന്ന് രണ്ട് കാര്യങ്ങൾ ഈ ടി വി പൊസിഷൻസ് ടി വി നന്നായിട്ട് ആ പൊസിഷൻ ഒന്നും വർക്കൗട്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ടില്ല വർക്കൗട്ട് ചെയ്തിട്ടില്ല ഇൻഫോർമൽ ലിവിങ് ഇതൊക്കെ ഒരു ഇൻറ്റീ ഒരു തീർച്ചയായിട്ടും പ്ലാനിങ്ങിനെ സംബന്ധിച്ചിടത്തോളം ഹൈലൈറ്റ് ചെയ്യാവുന്ന ഹൈലൈറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് ഇപ്പോൾ ലെവൽ ഡിഫറൻസ് വെച്ചിട്ട് ഹൈലൈറ്റ് ചെയ്തിട്ടുണ്ട് അതേപോലെ കുറച്ചുകൂടെ ഇൻഫോർമൽ ലിവിങ് ഒക്കെ ഒന്ന് ഹൈലൈറ്റ് ചെയ്തിരുന്നെങ്കിൽ ഞാൻ പ്ലാനിങ്ങിൻ്റെ കാര്യത്തിൽ ഒരു കാര്യം പറയാൻ ചോദിച്ചാൽ കിച്ചൻ്റെ പ്ലാനിങ് ശ്രദ്ധിച്ചറിയാം സാറിന് എല്ലാ വീടുകളിലും കിച്ചൺ കയറി കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ പലപ്പോഴും ക്ലട്ടേഡായിട്ട് തോന്നാനുള്ള ഒരു കാരണം ഈ എക്സസീവ് കബോട്ട്സ് ആണ് അത് കാണുമ്പോഴത്തേക്ക് കിച്ചണകത്ത് പാചകം ചെയ്യാനുള്ള ഇത് ഇത് ഇതിൻ്റെ പ്ലാനിങ്ങിൻ്റെ ഒരു വിജയം ചില ക്യാബിനറ്റ്സ് ഒരുപാട് കാണുന്നില്ല very interesting planning but i like to touch a point an initial point of view the car porch and the sit out i could see was separated so i think as part of the exterior planning maybe a little the car porch could have at least a canopy could have extended and so, so that you walk covered or shaded to your sit out so the connectivity would have been better but once you enter the room it's a delight i mean like uh, very open the living dining the open kitchen uh, all the areas are open you have a double height for the dining so the volumes created are very interesting um then a uh, couple of things um, uh, i'd like to point out is one they had used uh, a, a part of the flooring pattern two lines on the living room which extended to the dining room that actually kind of interfered with the planning it divided the room into two very obvious parts so what happens is like you could see from how the living room chairs were arranged you had chairs on one side of the line and on the other side you have the small puja or mm. so it wasn't very comfortable or cozy in terms of a seating arrangement these lines became too bold and actually visually bisecting the rooms that is just one odd point in that then like shankar ji said the family tv there's no space in front of the tv to actually sit and sit watch you have to it. sit from side you know but the kitchen is an absolute delight it's a huge area um uh, nice uh, island in the center of the area but uh, one small thing even though it is not necessary to actually have lot of overhead cabinets when you have a hood i think i could see the hood standing all alone i mean like at least that side of the wall should you have some cabinets not on all <coughs> three sides so that the hood doesn't look like a an awkward fixture awkward kind of a mm. thing you know so uh, besides that uh, generally the volumes i'm very happy the volumes created in, in the house okay yeah. how about you shaina Yeah, let us talk about the property first. We are planning to open the property. It's an L-shaped property. Yeah. Uh, considering that factor, the house has been uh, set back after the bend in the property. Yeah. Maybe it's considering the Vastu principles. And I think the kitchen is on the extreme right end behind the car porch because the windows we can see are very small. You know, uh, most probably they have looked into Vastu and that is why they have given the kitchen in that end. But uh, when we come to architectural point of view, the height the windows of uh, height are very uh, the height is very less so you know elevational point of view that is a, that is an eyesore but in this particular house we don't feel it that much okay. because the porch is standing in I mean, porch in is front. coming in front when we enter the building the horizontal and vertical volumes are you know like it hits you as you enter and uh, the visual separation has been given just by the mean, by means of i think two split levels yeah. from the living room to the dining room let's find out the scores here for planning ruben 23 23 China 24 and Shankar ji 23 23 again okay any we've got our third segment which is of course the interiors of the house let's find out whether east end villa uh, well does well here China there's a thematic continuity from the exterior to the interior of the house the combination of gray and white has been carried out uh, and it really you know like they have paid real, real good attention to like i said to each nook and corner because everything has been covered and like uh, i think most of you have seen there are no paintings or yeah. lots of artifacts but you feel you don't feel it because that and that is how the ar- architect has succeeded in the design because you don't feel the absence of those personal touches because the cabinets i particularly like the cabinets i mean on the side of the puja shelf you had a, a zigzag yeah. sort of thing that was good in the bedrooms on the headboard they had given niches and good lighting has been given in the dining room again there is another cabinet part of it was boxed in and then they had just glass shelves so all those you know really 
uh, they were well. features it themselves. It gives a special magic to the whole. Maybe the warmth is lacking because the absence of brown or earthy shades is yeah. there. But this is a completely new approach and I like the way how he has handled it. He liked it. Shankarji, what about you? I think India is a symphony. Mm. It's mm. an ambience. It's a symbol and white and grey. It's a great combination. Flooring and roof. It's a grey strip. It's a roof. It really looks very good. I think one window in front of the curtains. It's a painting. It's a painting. It almost looks like a painting. It's you know, a curtain. Window at front of the curtain. But she is like adding a little asset on it. And the tiling, the toilet and the tiling in the world. She is a commode in the parade or tiling. Other more children with the cut cuts across a ventilator. She is a detailing and a pattern catch secure allows her. Other people are children with furniture catering against the window. Palata the teleper, Okay, Ruben? Yeah, it's nice to see for a change that the exterior and interior follow a theme. Hmm. Like Shaina was saying, the grey bands, the grey lines are taken across, whether it's on the wall. You could even see some uh, bands like starting from the wall and continuing on the ceiling. So they have tried to tie up the spaces basically with these kind of bands and you hardly miss the wall paintings, etc. But uh, a couple of things I want to add also is that uh, for a change, you don't see too much of wood, you know. Even all the, except for the front door, the living room furniture, dining room furniture, all other woodwork seem to be painted. Yeah. But, so the reason is the, the polished wood acts like a highlight themselves. You don't need too much of color or anything else otherwise. But um, when it came to the bedroom, I thought the warmth was a bit lacking because as soon as you stepped into some of the toilets, you, you saw the warmth. You saw those ivories and beige colors and that really sent your heart racing. But that's not there in the bedroom. You are just like, just flowing along. So I think the bedrooms could have been a little more warm, adding maybe, you know, one or two shades of an appropriate color. But otherwise, the thematic continuity is pretty good. Perfect. So now let's find out, Ruben, uh, your score for interiors. 22. 22. China? 25. Not bad. And Shankarji? 24. 24. Any last segment which is special feature East End Villa? Uh, Ruben? Yeah, definitely the consistency on the part of the architect. Like starting from the exterior to the interior, uh, the, 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 the shapes that he's used. He's not gone for curves or, you know, he's just playing, he's just playing with planes and levels. And that's the same thing he's used lines. And he's used it all along the house. So I think definitely a lot of credit should be given to him. Okay, lovely. Um, Shankarji, how about you? Hindana, you will like to quick cat or a random area. The lighting, lighting in the world, I know the electrical fixtures in the light points in the positioning of the world, but they bed bed position located in the end. I'm going to put the resources of which it instead of cabinets, big cabinets, instead of big crockery shelf, instead of big showcases. Yes, used a very deft diet. One night, what a crust they would go to the shelf for the taste. I think that's the highlight. Very nice. China? The thematic continuity. Normally, I am an earthy person, but I, this house really impressed me. Very yeah. good. <laughs> Very nice. So that's it's impressive if that kind of made you change your yeah, you know natural liking system. Let's find out how that scores with you, China. I have given a six for it. Six on ten. Ruben. Eight. Not bad at all. And Shankarji. Eight. Eight again. Oh, very high scores there. So now it's time for us to find out the total score of East End Villa. From what I've heard, I think it should be doing pretty well on the score sheet. Um, Shankarji, your total please? 78. 78. Shaina? 79. Okay, and Ruben? 77. And unfortunately, with that, we come to the end of yet another episode of Idea Dream Home Season 3. We're looking for Kerala's most beautiful house and through that journey I think we're close to 40 houses now, just another 10 odd more to go and then that day will come when we will make that final announcement as to who is 
the winner of Idea Dream Home Season 3. Till then, you catch every episode of the show, 7.30 p.m. only on Rose Bowl.